Hi, friends. It's Pastor Tim Henderson. With Jaden. With Jaden, my adorable grandson and best bud. We're taking a lunch break. Jaden wasn't feeling well last night. Let Zadie finish talking to my friends, and then I'll come play with you, okay? And then we'll get back to work after that. I want to answer a question that keeps coming up, and it's a good question. So thank you for those who are asking it. It's referencing Matthew 24, 14. And it's talking about during this period, the gospel of the kingdom will be proclaimed worldwide. Now, you have to understand the difference between the gospel of the kingdom, meaning Christ's coming to set up his earthly kingdom, and the gospel of the grace of God, the atoning work of Christ. And so... And this is talking about those tribulation saints, those who come to Christ during the tribulation period, that they will, when Christ comes back with his bride, not for his bride, that, that they will enjoy the benefits of the millennial kingdom. Also note that this is often used in confusion to say Christ can't come back because there are still tribes that haven't been reached. See, that's that's false. And, and I understand why people believe that. So there's no offense. There's no problem here. But hopefully you'll understand this. That's false because what I just shared with you. So Christ could come back at any moment. Stay tuned because I'm going to talk about in a little while the um, Psalm 83 and Isaiah 17 and Ezekiel 38 wars and, and how I see the timeline and how they fit in. God bless you and hope you get to uh, sign in in just a little while and hear about those wars. Shalom.